I would now like to show you how to use the UT9000 for active line location. Here we will energize the line we are looking for with the UT9012. For this kind of line location at least one point of the line must be known. There are generally two different methods available for energizing the line. The direct mode by using a cable connection and the indirect mode by using the frame coil integrated in the UT9012. Let us first have a look at the direct mode to energize the pipe. In order to be able to energize the line directly, a metallic contact to the pipe is essential. For example, at a fitting. Make sure that the UT9012 generator remains switched off during the next steps. Otherwise, there's a danger of electric shock. Connect the set of cables of the UT9012 and hand tighten the connection. Now place the earthing spike and take care of the positioning. Connect the black clamp to the earthing spike. Afterwards attach the red clamp to the fitting. Now switch on the receiver UT9000 and select the locating mode line. Via the submenu ambient noise the UT9000 supports you in selecting a suitable frequency. A happy smiley indicates a suitable locating frequency. The smaller the measured value, the lower the interference. Now select a suitable locating frequency from the list and leave the menu. Select the signal behavior maximum wide. Adjust the gain to about 60 dB. Now switch on the generator UT9012. Select the locating frequency chosen. Adjust the output power to level 2. Now walk away from the generator significantly. The acoustic signal decreases as well as the field. Keep at least this distance from the generator during the entire locating process. As during passive line locating, now rotate the UT9000 with the sword parallel to your foot and hold the receiver easily in your hand again. Now walk through the area of interest in a right arc. If you cross a line, you will recognize a conclusive signal by the fact that the sound is heard and the numeric value increase. If necessary, readjust the gain when crossing the pipe. However, in this case the display of the UT9000 shows a compass view again. A line symbolizes the direction of the route. The field strength changes according with the acoustic signal. Arrows guide you towards the pipe. When you have crossed the pipe, the arrow changes direction. Directly above the pipe, you will see the diamond again. Lower the UT9000 to the surface at the location of the strongest signal. In the upper right corner of the display, you will now see the depth of the line and the calculated current. The signal and the measured values are much more stable during active pipe locating than in passive pipe location. The feature of current direction enables you to see whether you are locating the pipe you are energizing or any other line. The feature of current direction is only available for locating frequencies below 10 kHz. Arrows on the tube of the UT9000 display indicate the availability of this feature. To activate this feature you need to stand at the located position with your back towards the generator and looking into locating direction. Now push the frequency button for more than one second. In the compass view you will now see the arrowhead on the top of the line that symbolizes the pipe. Is a tip pointing in the direction of your viewing and therefore away from the generator you are locating the directly energized pipe. Is the arrowhead pointing towards the direction of the generator the signal was inducted to any other line. To trace the pipe we recommend to use the signal behavior maximum narrow or minimum. Then readjust the gain if necessary. In case you do not have direct access to the pipe you are looking for, you can alternatively energize the pipe indirectly. 
For this purpose, at the known position of the pipe, its direction must be known as well. In order to energize the pipe indirectly, place the UT9012 directly above the pipe. The long axis of the generator must be aligned with the line direction. For this energizing mode, no set of cables is needed. Now switch on the generator. In the display of the UT9012, you see that the indirect mode is active. Select the medium output power. Now switch on the receiver UT9000. Select the locating mode line and the signal behavior maximum wide as for direct energizing and select a suitable frequency. For indirect energizing of lines, frequencies above 10 kHz are best suitable. For this example we are selecting 83 kHz. Make sure that you keep a long distance from the generator for indirect energizing mode than for direct. Now adjust the amplification and start locating. The subsequent locating of the pipe is carried out in the same way as shown. If the location of the signal is not conclusive, correct the position and orientation of the generator and continue as usual. Finally, let's have a look at the locating mode auto. Here the procedure does not differ in principle from the locating mode already shown. However, if you select the locating mode auto, the UT9000 will take over some settings from you and this mode is therefore particularly suitable for tracking pipes over longer distances. First energize the pipe to be located with the generator UT9012, then select the locating mode auto at the receiver. The display will now show different information and the acoustic signal is different when crossing a pipe. When approaching the pipe you are looking for, you will not hear an increasing acoustic signal in this locating mode. But the acoustic signal changes once when crossing the pipe. Only the signal behavior maximum wide is available. Now the UT9000 automatically adjusts the gain optimally depending on the locating signal and readjusts the gain permanently. The display shows the gain changing. The field strength is no longer given as a percentage value, but as an absolute measured value. The line symbol in the compass display no longer inclines in the direction of the located pipe, but is rigidly vertical. However, the arrows still show you in which direction the pipe is to be found. The UT9000. Easy, always, efficient.